perfect practice makes perfect when presenting, but are you getting enough practice? Find out what you need to be doing in today's show. Welcome back to year four of this weekly edition every Friday of the Japan Business Mastery Show. I'm your host, Dr. Greg Story, Dale Carnegie franchise owner, Tokyo, master trainer, president of Dale Carnegie Tokyo Training, and best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery, Japan Business Mastery, and Japan Presentations Mastery. Zaegyo is the Japanese translation of Japan Sales Mastery, and Anata Mo Prusen Tatsujin is the translation of Japan Presentations Mastery. My new book is Stop Wasting Money on Training, or in Japanese, Training de Okane o Munisuno wa Yamimasho. We are bringing the show to you from our studio in the High Performance Center in Akasaka in Minatoku, the business center of Tokyo. This is episode number 203, and we are talking about how frequently should you practice your presentations. Before we get going, a quick word from our sponsor. If you want to become a fully competent and confident presenter, then do the High Impact Presentations course. We are all being judged when we speak, be it in the internal team meeting or in a public environment, be it the big bosses, clients, or an industry audience. Everyone is evaluating us. Don't blow it. Get the best training on the planet. Do the High Impact Presentations course now in either Japanese or English. Speaking in public means our personal and professional brands are on show. Let's make it a total success. Japan Presentations Mastery is the Bible for presenting in Japan. This is the most comprehensive collection of experience and insight on presenting that you will ever need. Don't work it out by trial and error. Buy Japan Presentations Mastery and learn how to be confident, clear, and persuasive. Buy Japan Presentations Mastery now. Welcome back. Okay, now it's time for the show. Sore dewa ikimashou, so let's get going. The usual frequency for most people for giving formal presentations is once in a blue moon. In other words, we don't do so many in a year. This presents a problem because, as we know, repetition is key to learning and improvement. Instead of hanging around waiting for someone to invite you to speak, you need to get out there and beat the bushes for opportunities to present. What can you speak about? there will be a natural alignment between your own areas of experience, expertise and knowledge and popular demand which will determine the types of subjects you will be able to speak upon. If these areas are such that there is a common interest in the subject, you will find there will be groups who will be interested to have you come and speak. The trick is to let them know you exist as a speaker. How will speech organizers know you exist as a speaker? Investigate what sorts of groups exist in your area who regularly feature speakers. Make a matrix between the subject areas they cover and your own range of interests and capabilities. If there is a match, then contact them and ask if they are looking for future speakers. The person tasked with finding speakers will be very happy to hear from you because they usually have a difficult job finding good speakers. A simple way to demonstrate your ability is to do speeches on relevant subjects, video them and put them up on YouTube and your website. Once you get a chance to do a formal presentation to a live audience, make sure you get it on video. You can point the event organizers to the videos to give them an idea of your ability. After the speech, you post the video to a link 
to your website so that people can see you in action. With all of this content floating around, you start to become a known face. People will start contacting you. We get into a virtuous cycle here where success breeds success. This is really great for personal and company brands. And that is what we want. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And so please subscribe on YouTube. Share it with your family, friends, and colleagues. Become a regular. Hit the little bell icon to receive update notifications. Our website details are on screen now, www.dale-carnegie.co.jp. It's packed with value, so certainly check it out. We try to offer as much value as possible, so you might also enjoy our other shows. In fact, we are releasing content six days a week for podcast Mondays for the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday for the Presentations Japan series, and every second Tuesday for the Business of Tatsujin no Oshie Show, Wednesdays for the Sales Japan series, Thursdays for the Leadership Japan series, and every second Thursday for the Business Pro Podcast Show, Fridays for the Japan Business Mastery Show and Saturdays for Japan's top business interviews. Now you get these wherever you get your podcast. Also, every Monday we release the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Every second Thursday we release the Business Pro Telebi Show. And every Friday the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, every Saturday we are releasing Japan's top business interviews. These are all on YouTube. We appreciate your support and please let others know about it so they can benefit too. We want to make a contribution to helping people build their careers and businesses. And so please join with us in that endeavor. In episode number 204, we are talking about how to get on better with your boss. Please join me next week to master business here because that is what we all want to know. Japan business mastery.